Jack Cade's Rebellion, 1450. Cade's Rebellion starts in the southeast of England. It is against corruption and is stoked by fears around both the loss of Normandy and the threat of invasion from France. We don't know much about who Jack Cade, Captain of Kent, was, but he issued 15 complaints and 5 demands, many of which focused on dealing with corrupt officials around King Henry VI, including his treasurer, Lord Say. Interestingly, the complaints are not about the king himself. Approximately 5,000 men, mainly peasants, but with some squires, soldiers, two MPs and a knight, organise and march towards London. They hand their petition to a royal party before disbanding, sensibly fearing an attack. Indeed, the king's army sets out to find the rebels and seeing that they have fled, follow them in search of retribution. Sometime later, the rebels regather on Blackheath before entering London where Cade declares himself Lord Mayor. They conduct tribunals against those accused of corruption but the trials are shams and the accused are beheaded, including Lord Say, the king's treasurer. What costs Cade is his lack of control over his fellow rebels. They loot and are drunken. It turns previously sympathetic Londoners against Cade, resulting in a bloody battle on London Bridge. To disperse the rebels, the king offers Cade and his followers pardons, which many take. But the pardon for Cade himself is soon withdrawn. He flees to Sussex, but is captured wounded and dies before he can be returned to London. Other rebels are also tracked down and hanged. Cade's rebellion was the largest popular uprising in the 15th century and the feeling of rebellion remains with smaller actions taking place perhaps in anger at the king withdrawing the pardons he offered. The corruption also still remains but some see Cade's Rebellion as a precursor to the War of the Roses, a 30-year series of battles for the Royal Crown of England, where Richard of York takes up some of the rebels' grievances.